Hi, it's Dr. Laura Jagged, and this momenar is a follow-up to the how to load and run a dishwasher. If you've been in fear or struggling with how to do that, I'd like to make you feel a little better by showing you the attempts of three other young people, ages 24, 19, and 13. You'll see that they didn't do that great of a job, but it's okay, it's just dishes. And after I showed them how to maximize the space, they did much better. So if you had no idea how to do it, no worries, you're not alone. So the goal is to fit as many of these dirty dishes into the dishwasher as possible. We have a frying pan, cast iron pans, a large pot, a cookie sheet, several glass bowls, cutting boards, knives, utensils, and silverware. Let me show you how they did. This one put the cast iron pans on the top shelf. First of all, cast iron never goes in the dishwasher and these are way too heavy for the top rack. She also laid the plates across the slots rather than in them, haphazardly placed a few glass bowls on the bottom and jammed steak knives and cutting knives in with the other silverware. In the end, she was not able to fit in the frying pan, the large pot, and the cutting boards. Number two chose to use the entire bottom rack for the large pot and only two glass bowls. He also shoved all of the steak knives together and did not spread out the other utensils well. He put the glass plates on top and did not maximize the top rack. There's too much wasted space on both the top and the bottom. As a result, all of this was left out. A frying pan, all the cutting boards, the cookie sheet, and a couple of lids and cups. The last one didn't do too badly. She stacked all the glass bowls on the bottom, got the cutting boards in, she put the large pot on top, which is fine because there's nothing else heavy up there, and the silverware is spaced out pretty well. But she also put the steak knives in the machine and didn't stack the plates properly. However, this is a pretty good job, and she only left out the frying pan, a cookie sheet, and a lid. If you've already watched the other mom and are on how to load and run a dishwasher, I am going to be repeating myself here, but repetition is good. Typically smaller items, mostly cups and glasses, go on the top rack, while plates and other large items go on the bottom, but stacking them strategically is ideal. The racks have slats designed to help you stack your dishes. I used the slats to stack the plates, cookie sheet, and lids first. I was able to fit the big pot on the bottom and a glass bowl to the side of it. After that, I placed the frying pan followed by the cutting boards. There was even space for the water bottle. Since I don't have any glasses to wash, I use the top rack to hold the larger utensils and the rest of the glass bowls. They're not overcrowded, which will allow the water to spray up and clean well. I like to keep the silverware together with the handle side down in the holders and evenly spaced out. So forks, knives, spoons are kept together in their own compartments, and this also makes it easy to put them away. I was able to get everything in except the cast iron pans and the knives. These two things never go in the dishwasher and should always be washed by hand. Feel a little better? There's always room for improvement. If this video helps you, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll do this again in the next Mominar.